the orange one here. So I didn't realize we're like right outside the dojo. <laughs> Seriously, it's like right there. Um, and we've got our car here. I honestly haven't played in a couple days, maybe even a week. So I'm trying to refresh myself as to what we had around here. Yeah, I thought that there was like a juggernaut or something. But we got a laser rifle. For a reason. We'll just take them out one shot at a time from here on out. Because I think I've got enough power for that. Yeah, okay, cool. Alright. Yeah, I want to get into that uh, dojo and check it out. But I am a little bit low on power, so maybe we should just wait a minute to do that. You know, I've been thinking, I haven't been talking as much as I used to on the channel, like, just like, in the in the downtime between things as much. Um, oh yeah, I remember the game watch, I was having issues with it being uh, charged and whatnot. I remember that now. Yeah, and I was, I don't know, I think that I've been, because of the pandemic, like, I've got just less to talk about, you know? And then there's also the fact that I'm like, I just kind of want to just play the game on some level. Just to escape a little bit. But I do, I do kind of miss talking to you guys, because like, I feel like I get less in, um, interaction when I just focus on that stuff sometimes. Which is fine, because I do enjoy the games as well. Like, this is an awesome game. I have gone a little bit, like, I need to really update it, and I can't really do that with this version of the game, so I think that I might just start a new character just so I can ha play in an updated version. Not to mention the fact that we're, like, God incarnate, you know? That also is a little bit of a problem at this point. Um, anything else in here? Um, Tau. Okay. Uh, it's one of the bugged out buildings. It's a shame. Yeah, these, I think, can have books in them, but very rarely. It's really just gonna be clothing. Which is just really good for rags at this point, like dojo clothing. Are you kidding me? You know, it's worthless. Okay, well, that's one of our dojos that I wanted to get to. The other one... There is no road that goes straight to it, so we're going to have to kind of go up and around to get to it. That's a shame. That's probably going to mean a fair amount of fighting. Is what I'm thinking. Oop. What did I just put on? Hold on. Oh, I just put on, on the laser rifle itself. Okay. It's fine. Okay, let's just get out of here. And then I think we were trying to drive up north a little bit. Maybe even just... It's not a school, but that little S, whatever that is, we might be able to just kind of go around it that way. There's a fair amount of zombies. Ooh, there's even a feral human here. Gross. Okay, yeah, there's a fair amount of uh, enemies around here, actually. I do need to be careful. Flash Reckless, because that's more fun. Right? Okay, so we can get to this. What on earth is, what is this? An open sewer. Um, interesting. Shocker brute over there by the open sewer. I think they're like falling and maybe getting hurt or something. I don't know. Okay, we're gonna have it looks like a little little fight around here. Yeah, looks like we're gonna have a little fight around here. <laughs> We're gonna want to get to that store, <laughs> that dojo. Better be worth it. 
That's all I'm saying. I don't know, do I really want to fight all that? Just to see what's maybe in the dojo? I don't know if I want to do that. I kind of am thinking maybe we... We get out of the city and we go back for that lab. It was like way up here. Yeah, I kind of... I don't know. We got the Tao book. That just seems like so much work. <laughs> I just saw the Mao zombies that I would have to kill. I'm like, that seems like a chore. <laughs> right? Which is actually probably the most realistic thing about this character in a long, long time. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm thinking maybe we just get out of here. The auto dock's just up there, so I know the road's clear up that way for the most part. Okay, there's actually a Hulk there? Wow, okay. Interesting. They've actually got some control of some of this as well. What is that? That's right there. Where are you? A, a howling... Okay, whatever. Yeah, I think that we probably want to just get out of here. You know, honestly, it, the fact that we fought this far down into the city to get to those dojos and it actually kind of worked is in of itself a feat of endurance, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, let's just go straight north if it lets me. I think that we probably want to open these up, though, for a little drive around. Oh, man, it's like the day after the election in the United States today, and, like, I did not sleep well last night. Like, honestly, I know that I, I was just saying how I don't talk a lot about that stuff, but yeah. It was one of those things where, Oh man. I think everyone, no matter where how you where you lie politically, everyone is just kind of nervous. Oh, there goes uh I think I just broke off my my own steel drum of diesel. Whatever. <laughs> we, we're going fully electric at this point you know that's why it pays off to plan ahead <laughs> I knew that that was going to happen eventually I was going to run into something stupidly and turn when I shouldn't be turning okay um did I ever I feel like that military outpost I have not checked out I know there was also that technician in the back there I kind of want to turn on just for them, just to see what cybernetics they have. I think that to get like more late game content, we got to go outside of the city. And I know there's Lore? I thought it was Laura. Whatever. Our friend over there. Let's see. I mean, if I want to go to that lab... I'm not really going to be able to get to it here, so I'm going to have to see... might want to try and navigate. Um, I think the outpost is not going to have anything in it, right? It might have some enemies with cybernetics, I think. But I'm not exactly... 100% positive on how it works again. Okay, here we go. There's... Yeah, a number of dangerous enemies. And they can... They can spot me from quite a far away, too. I'm hearing some kabooming, though. Um, and now we're deaf. Great. <laughs> Maybe I should have not been right by... The military outpost. It was like blowing up zombies. <laughs> Whoops. I wonder how long that deafness is going to last. We'll see. Yeah, I feel like um, I've been really getting into Caves of Cud recently because our we've just been able to up our K 
characters like damage potential just to bon bonkers bonkers levels and i felt like real uh, like a real sense of progress whereas like with nosh i just feel like nosh is just he's reached the cap you know he just like kills everything so fast and he could be a little bit better in combat with like slightly better stats but it just takes so long to train that up i'm not sure how much i want to do it Hello, Shocker Brute. Hi, Shocker Brute. Yeah, I think we're going to just drive around and see what we find. I'm kind of feeling that instead of the mindless killing the same enemy type ten times over. <laughs> I mean, it's it's all fun in games. Until you're like, what? Why am I doing this again? Why was I killing those zombies so I could go to the dojo to learn the one martial arts that I'm not even using on this character? <laughs> you know? It's kind of like ridiculous. And I'm, I'm a little bit salty about the realism kind of getting broken with the food and stuff. Tai Chi. I think Tai Chi's actually not a half bad martial art in this game. I don't know if that's realistic or not. I don't know how good or bad of a martial art it really is in real life. I just know that it gets ripped on for being like the exercise for old people. But maybe you don't want to mess with those old people, you know? Maybe they all are like martial arts masters. That's all I'm saying. Okay, um, yeah, it's just... Honestly, we could just run over that zombie if it got in my way. And these giant bees, same with that. Yeah, we can just kind of cross over here. This is not hard at all. To navigate through these zombies. There's actually a pretty big group of them there, though. That's kind of annoying, but I think I'm going to just drive past them. Yeah. That actually worked out just fine. Cool. <laughs> I was a little worried there. There are a lot of just generic zombies out here. It's strange. Just like the generic level ones. It seems that the city seem to have almost disproportionate high levels. And then out here these dudes are like... They have nothing. That's why it's... And then there's also the weird map gen problems that we've had since like episode 10 or 20 or something like that. Fairhaven. Another big mega city. What's this? A shooting range. I am curious just because I've never been to one of these locations in game or out of game to be honest. <laughs> I know people always get kind of shocked by that. They're like, you're American and you've never fired a gun. What's wrong with you? Um, I'm an immigrant. <laughs> I don't know. I'm English. That's why. My parents just never really did that thing. It was just a lot of thing that we did, you know. Uh, there's some earplugs. I kind of went against that gun safe. Uh, you know what? Take some lasers. Let's get some good aim. Yeah, might as well use the lasers effectively. I'm not afraid to use some lasers. There's a lot of casings on the ground here. <gasps> Shooter's earmuffs. That's like a legit, really good item. I don't think that I can wear it, actually, can I? Oh yeah, shooter's earmuffs. So, oh, so they need to have batteries in them to let sound in, but they'll block over a certain threshold. That is super cool. Can I reload my earmuffs? I bet that these don't like hold on. 
batteries like the other things. Hear that? So now I can hear things, but like when I fire guns, it should block the sound now. Oh, that's gonna be super cool if that works as an intended. So, yeah. I mean, I'm sure it does. That is actually an awesome find. That's like probably the best find that we've had in a long, long time, actually. <laughs> that's crazy. Kind yeah, of crazy it took us this long to actually get that item, if you think about it. Uh, where's my stethoscope? I think that's what I need for this, right? Or is it block pick? Yeah, I don't know if I want the use the kit because it's gonna get broken. Ah, uh, he's asking for the lock pick kit. It's probably nothing. It's like probably just like some bullets, honestly. There's actually two towns here. Yeah, I really like all the um, buildings that they've added to the game. There's been a, just an explosion of them recently. I'm, I, all the contributors, all of you are amazing. All the people who develop for the game. Continue to make one of the best games ever. <laughs> Um, okay, whatever. Got ammo. Necromancers. Is there another shooting range here? Okay, these guys like their guns in this part of New England, I suppose. So, if I look at these things, what is this? This target? Yeah, I mean, I'm assuming that on the ground there's just going to be the same stuff that I saw in the other one. Yeah, see, this one doesn't have the sound counseling things. We just got lucky with that. We got super lucky. There's a FEMA camp that might have some zombie scientists in it, so that's probably worth um, going into. But only kind of like the very back. So it'd be like around here. Um, let's get our Jane out. Yeah. Um, there's actually no one in here. Weird. It looks like they've changed the layout of this. Hello? I guess we'll uh we'll do it this way then. Let's see what else we got in here. Some clanging. Hmm. I am intrigued by this new FEMA camp layout. Oh, there's a Hulk. Can I shoot him? Yeah, we can totally hit him. Oh, no, no. Am I... I think I'm hitting not him right now. Oh, this is a crate. It's like a bed with a crate on top of it. I don't know. I think that it's bugged out a little bit. Can I... Take him out. There we go. I think the other one I'll fight actually. Yeah, it's just wait uh what's uh what's going on there? It's a spotlight, okay. There's spotlights looking for me or something. Interesting. Can I climb? Yeah, let's take these guys out. Okay, I just don't want to see if I can get a little view of what's going on over here. These just look like they're all tents. With, like crates in them. 
Okay. Um, what? I think something's getting shot at. I'm not sure. There's also a gun. Oh, that's from the guy that I killed. Okay. That skull kid gonna come over here? Yeah, they are. That's what I thought. I just didn't want to get my gun and then have to deal with you. I think... Unless I'm wrong, this might not have the scientists in it anymore. I'm just not sure where they would be. You know? What if I try and climb into the center here? What's in the center? More of the same? Okay. This definitely seems like a um, completely different location. Not as easy to farm. Um, it's got some sort of thing in the front though. Yeah, you guys are probably going to cause some issues. I a feeling. I'll just take out the boomer. Hello. Oh, there's actually quite a few of you. Okay. Take out these guys. And our gun's not too far away. Truth be told. Just don't want to get overran. Yeah. Go ahead, do it. It's fine. Yeah, I think that we might want to just dip. Honestly. Let's just get our gun. And let's just get out of here. Yeah, I don't think we're going to find anything. Oh, hello. Oh, that's our friend. Okay, I thought it was someone like outside the car when I saw on the mini-map. <laughs> that's what happens, right? Get a little confused. This seems like a bust. I'm going to say we explored that and it was, it was not fruitful. And off again on another adventure, eh? It's like adventure time, but a lot less fun. <laughs> a lot more just like, oh god, oh no. What was that? The horror, the horror. <laughs> you know. Sci-fi. Right? What's with my power? Why is that not on? Um, it does not have enough charge. That's a problem. I mean, I know that my car has enough charge. It just looks like my character did not. So, there we go. Enough charge. All good now. And the Shiryu Mouse, though, are going to be really nice. If they hold charge, which they won't. Oh, look, a dairy farm. If we needed more cows. A zombie cow. No. That's so sad. Are there live cows that I, I must save from the zombie cow? That makes me sad, a zombie cow. We must. We had to. It was fate. There's no actual cows. There's at least some fodder though. Not like I'm gonna find any cows. <laughs> Did you kill a perfectly healthy cow? <gasps> you killed a perfectly healthy cow. A monster. Um, can I get the stomach? Yeah. Trust me. My scalpels feel freezing cold. Um, okay. 
your point being. <laughs> I don't see why that makes you stop. I mean, they're like a robotic part of your hand. I don't know how you feel that, how that feels. Making my brain hurt just thinking about it. <laughs> um, sure, pick up the sinew. As well. And actually, smash that. Let's see what else have we got in here. <laughs> okay. Looks ridiculous. Oops, sorry, hold on. I gotta go. Maybe I'll end this here. Thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.